Hey, this is Alan McGee with YETicket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called Zappa. Now, this is distributed by Magnolia Pictures. And the reason I want to mention Magnolia Pictures is because over the years, they have really had some great films. They didn't make a lot of money and did not get a lot of attention from people buying it or going to the films. But they have made some great films. And right now, this is a great documentary about Zappa. I'm going to talk about it. Now, this is directed by Alex Winter. You know, he's an actor. Now he's a director. And he really did a great job on this film. I will admit, I'm a little biased talking about Zappa because I've always been a great fan of his in the 70s and 80s. And to this day, I still play uh, some of his songs on my, uh, you know, phone and things like that. At least twice a month, I listen to one of his songs. Because the guy, to me, was a brilliant genius. And I went to a concert to see him in concert. And at this concert, he had uh, clotheslines with women panties. Because women from the audience were throwing their panties on stage, taking them off right there in the, in the concert venue and throwing them there to Frank Zappa. I said, man, only he can do that. Well, anyway, this documentary... You will learn a lot about Zappa. Like I said, I was a big fan of his, but a lot of things I did not know about him. First of all, his personal life. I really didn't follow his personal life that much. I really don't follow a lot of people's personal life, even though now a lot of people in the public eye, you do get to see a lot of their personal lives these days. I don't care about all that. But here, I was kind of glad to learn more about Frank Zappa, for example. You know, when he was young, his father worked at a factory that made mustard gas, those type of gases that killed people during the wars. And in the town that they lived in, they had to have a gas mask in every home and for every occupant in the home in case there was a spillage. But that gas was killing uh, Zappa because he kept getting sick, bronchitis and all that good thing. So they moved to California, but they moved to a small town of California. And now he's a young teenager and he's shooting, you know, with an eight millimeter camera. He's learning how to shoot, edit and things like that with that. Again, Zappa was self-taught in everything that he did that I learned from this film. He learned how to play the guitar, edit film, write music. I mean, music, man, put it on paper. He didn't go to those school and things like that like a lot of these people do. They go to these very expensive schools and still wind up being a nobody. But anyway, Zappa was self-taught. Also in this film too, you can see he had a large collection of all of his works. In fact, his uh, wife, she kept it and she showed it off in the documentary. Not only that, we got a chance to see her talk in this film too about him and also about some of their lives. And Getting back to when he moved to a small town with a young man, and then he uh, discovered a, uh, a recording studio, and he took that over, but eventually that recording studio got him arrested, and he spent some jail time for porno. But when you see the film, you understand why they did it. And also, I, I didn't notice too, that a black man was the first one to sign him to a record deal. Uh, man, I, I mean, this documentary is full of surprises for me. And even though you might be a Zappa fan or you learn a lot about Zappa, you're going to learn much more about Zappa from this documentary, Zappa. And, you know, in 1967 with the Mothers of Invention, they played at the Garrett Theater for a week and really built up their fan base and things like that. He also had one of the first female groups uh, called the GTOs. And he signed Alice Cooper to his own label. Later on, you know, Zappa created his own label. And he signed Alice Cooper. Man, I'm telling you, it's a lot I did not know about Frank Zappa. And it's a lot here in this documentary you will learn because there's a large library that the director, Alex Winter, had access to. And he put it in this film. This film is at the right length for this documentary. I'm glad it did not go over the minutes and hours that it, it did take to tell the story. But again, I could have watched three, four hours of this film. I really could have. And not only that, you get a chance to see, uh, like I said, Gail 
Zappa, his, uh, his widow, his wife, talk about him. Not only that, uh, Steve Val, uh, Ruth Underwood, and, and other people. But again, this is one thing I like about this film. This is not one of these talky type of films where everybody said, oh, he was great. Oh, he was this. Oh, he was that. It really wasn't that. It really wasn't. That's why I said, you got to watch this documentary, Zappa. This is one of the best documentaries about an icon that I've seen in a long time. Well, and again, it's very comprehensive, but you learn a lot about Zappa, like I said. As you can tell, I'm a huge fan of Zappa because he was the anti-anti guy. And in his music, it shows, but in his documentary, you show what type of person he really was. Type of person that you would not really enjoy being around. You really wouldn't. But this guy was a genius. Zappa, watch this film. It's one of the best documentaries I've seen in a while or this year. I'm giving this four palm trees. I'm giving this an A grade. And yeah, like I said, it's one of the best documentaries I've seen this year. See it for yourself. Uh, it's, I think it's going on video on demand, maybe at some theaters. It's really hard to tell what films are going to do unless they truly announce it. For example, I know some films, they're going straight to the theaters. Is a theater open in your neighborhood? I don't know. But they're not open in my neighborhood theaters. So that's why I get to see them online. Zappa, see it for yourself. Hey, I'm Al McGee with YETicket.com. I really appreciate it that you watch this review of Zappa. But watch Zappa, the documentary. This is your entertainment ticket. Latest and greatest.